席禁煙となっておりますおタバコを吸わ Okay, everyone, so a little update. Firstly, I need to have a panic attack because I was trying to show everyone Kyoto Station as we were coming out of it, and I chucked the camera across the floor and then it wouldn't turn on, so I was panicking. But it seems to be okay now. So, yes, as I said, we are now in Kyoto, which is kind of our second stop of the trip across Japan we're doing. And yeah, so far we have only seen well, the station and our hostel, both of which have been very nice. The hostel is wonderful, I will show you guys later on when we go back. Definitely recommend it, at least so far. And now we are off to, we're off to a temple or two or ten, because there are many in Kyoto. And yes, we're going to see hopefully a couple of them this afternoon and then get some food of some sort and yeah, see what we can find. on a very nice day so far. The weather is beautiful and there's a bit of a breeze which is good for the humidity. And um, yeah, we're on our way to see many, many temples by what we're thinking at least at the minute. Things might change later on, but that's the likely news. Today is going to be temple day. So we're heading over to the east of Kyoto, which is pretty much a kind of area of temples and parks and uh, it's a bit more open than the kind of city. Yeah, so we're going to head that way, see what we can see and enjoy Japan again. I'm just casually eating soy flavoured pickled cucumber on a stick. It's actually quite nice. You know what they say when in Rome or when in Japan in this case. Let's give it a go.
We're just gonna have tea, but we have no idea what's going on because obviously we don't speak any Japanese. <laughs> but the gay shop lady seems very friendly. Andrew and I have no idea what's going on, everyone. We're just gonna guess and hope and not offend any Japanese people. Okay everyone, so it's not going very well. We've been sitting wrong this whole time and we didn't realise, but we've just been very kindly corrected. Okay guys, so apparently Westerners are all too fat for the bridges in every temple because they're all blocked off. Right guys, I thought I'd take a couple of minutes whilst there's no one in the room to tell you about my hostel that I'm staying in with Andrew in Kyoto. I don't usually like to do too much of a babble about where I'm staying, so I don't want to sound like an advert for the place, but I really wanted to tell you about this place because it is really cool. It's very new and it's just, it's lovely. It's everything you want in a hostel. Um, so right now I'm in my little cubby space, so I can close my curtain and I've got this kind of very wide single bed and uh, window and everything uh, and then I've got locker and space for my bag and all sorts and the communal areas are fantastic breakfast is included bathrooms are lovely clean you can close yourself off to have a shower properly and there's space to hang your stuff up and your uh, products can go on the shelf so it's all really well thought out and the reason I just wanted to talk about it is just because it's one of the best hostels I think I've ever stayed in I'll leave you some details if anyone is interested in staying here I would highly recommend it there are people from all around the world and all different ages as well there's older there's younger people staying here so it seems to be like a really popular option for anyone that's interested in staying in hostels and uh, it's a good hostel to try if you've never tried hostels before and you're maybe a bit unsure am i always filming andrew am i am i always filming <laughs> filming? guys so as if japan wasn't already ahead of everyone else enough they have these storage i guess machines you'd call them that you put your bikes in and it basically stores it underground for you and then you recall it when you need it. It is one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my life. But then again, I'm in Japan where everything seems to be about 50 years ahead of the rest of the world. I'm just a bit speechless that these exist and they're a thing. There you go, you saw it as well. 